What is going on guys, Tiswafi here and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, you can see we actually have Robin over here starting to build our chicken coop. We actually got her to start building it last episode, so maybe this episode she'll actually finish it later on uh, in the episode, like whenever it's the last day of the month, the 28th. Which speaking of such, there's supposed to be like an event happening on the 28th, so definitely want to go look at the calendar. Oh, I've scared off three crows. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. So I guess he's actually pretty useful there, not bad. But let's get the uh, the daily hops over here. But yeah, I definitely want to go look at the calendar because there's supposed to be some sort of event that happens tomorrow, and I forgot what it's called, but I uh, just kind of want to be prepared for that and don't want to forget about it, right? Uh, we do still have a few things in our inventory I might as well get rid of, at least right now. Corn, hot peppers, anything like hops. Yeah, we have a ton of hops. Uh, frozen tear, we, we could definitely give that to Sebastian again, we gave that to him yesterday, and it was his favorite gift, thanks to you guys telling me and whatnot, but uh, I don't know if I want to use this one already, or maybe wait until his birthday in the, the winter to give this to him, I don't know how rare it's going to be to fi find frozen tears in the caves and stuff like that, which, speaking of such, yeah, we did actually, oh, and by the way, ooh, yeah, frozen tear is a thing for the community center, I do remember reading a comment saying that, right, where is that? room. This is a foraging thing, so it's probably not going to be there. It's probably going to be pantry, arson, fall, no. It's going to be winter, animal, nah. Oh, if anything, oh yeah, you know what? Someone did say, because I have the chicken coop on the way. Nice little rhyme right there. Oh yeah, and by the way, we have batteries over there. Uh, saying that because I have the chicken coop on the way, I need to make like the mayonnaise machine or something like that. So definitely want to look into that, you guys. Parsnip soup. I guess we can get rid of that because we have the ice cream right there. Uh, then we have Spangles over here. Yeah, I definitely want to keep giving those to people. That way we can, uh, you know, keep getting more friendship with everyone and all that. Oh, whoops. Did I put that in the wrong thing? Yeah, I put that right there. Okay. Yeah, let's put the halibut in there. Hops. Gold star hops. Gold star coral. I guess we'll put that up at least for right now. And I'll, I'll sell that later. Uh, but for right now, let's just clean our inventory a little bit over here. And oh, yeah. Uh, remember last episode, we started actually harvesting mushrooms from the cave remember we had demetrius come by and ask us hey do you want to have like mushrooms in that cave or do you want to have like fruit bats or whatever and you guys commented saying uh, i should do uh what was it mushrooms and i think we have a different variety yeah so we have what is this yeah we have a moral there we have a red mushroom there and then we these regular common mushrooms over here too interesting i do believe the community center wants the moral yeah i guess we'll grab that uh, go take it to the community center. Keep it in our inventory, at least for right now. Oh, yeah, and then also last episode, we started upgrading our hoe to a uh, copper hoe. And uh, that's why we're not able to get any of the worms. Like, pretty much the second half of last episode, we missed out on a bunch of worms. Couldn't uh, couldn't pick any of them up just because I'm like, it was too busy being upgraded by the, uh, the blacksmith, unfortunately, right? So that kind of sucks, missing out on a bunch of worms last episode. But the cool thing about worms is that I'm like... They don't just go away after you miss them like once or whatever, right? Uh, we could actually just go find where the worms were and then just find them again today. I think they're supposed to last like, what, three days or something like that? Two or three days? Uh, before they actually do despawn, disappear and all that kind of stuff, right? So we do still have a little bit of time to catch up and... Whoops, I don't think I did that correctly right there. <laughs> to catch up on the uh, the worms and stuff like that if we do end up getting the uh, copper hoe back this episode, which we should... Uh, later in the episode, probably the sec second half of the episode or something like that, right? But also what happened last episode was we, uh, we gift because we had a bunch of, uh, spangles and, and, uh, what do we have? Oh, yeah, I didn't give anyone any poppies. And speaking of poppies, I'm trying, remember I was trying to find, uh, did I water that? I guess I did. I was trying to find Penny all last episode, but apparently Penny, even though, you know, she's supposed to be like a teacher or whatever, and it, I, I didn't put two and two together. It's summertime right now. Obviously, she wouldn't be teaching during the summertime, right? Except for, like, summer school, I guess, but she doesn't do that. So you guys were saying, yeah, she doesn't teach during the summer, so kind of wasting my time checking the museum and all that kind of stuff. And you guys actually said, hey, she actually lives in, where is that? Where can I hear this? Right here in the trailer. I guess, like, hovering over that doesn't show who lives in there. But apparently she lives with uh, Pam, so yeah, I guess we'll go over there and give her a, a what's it called, a poppy. Yeah, we have two Silver Star poppies right there, it's two Silver Star white poppies, so yeah, we can give that to her, and uh, that's going to be a great gift. And remember, in a couple days, whoops, no, do not eat that. <laughs> remember, in a couple days, it's going to be her birthday, like fall, like second or something like that is going to be her birthday, so that's going to be really good. Definitely want to save the Gold Star uh, poppy for that day, you guys. Don't want to uh, miss out on using that clam and all this stuff. I guess we could sell that coffee. Speed, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yeah, I, I did get the coffee. I think, who was it for? It was for Willie. But unfortunately, we already gave him uh, two gifts this week. So we couldn't give him anything. So I guess we'll set up at least for right now. And I saw Zongus over here. You guys remember we made a lightning rod last episode. And we had a storm as well. And boom, it picked up a battery pack. We actually gave this battery to the... Uh, where is that? Oh, whoops, I can't open it up right there. 
to the uh, to like the tunnel thing over here, the backwoods. I guess you can call that over there. I don't know. It's, I guess it's the tunnel. It's not actually showing me the name, but uh, that little gate over there needs to have a battery or whatever to power it up, and you can actually go through it apparently. So now we can actually go through there, right? So that's going to be really cool. Uh, I don't know if I want to give it. Do I want to give it to the community center? Or do I want to give it to the dispatcher? I might give it to the community center. Now I think about it, and then common mushroom. We do need to give that to the community center as well. Ooh, what do we have to do there? Uh, let's see. Fall. Yeah, pumpkin and whatever else. We already have corn there, which is good. Ah, oh, man, I, I wish it showed you. Fall for. Okay, fall foraging. Okay, cool. So common mushroom. I guess during fall, you can just find mushrooms all over the place just randomly. And uh, I just kind of got it early here because we had the Demetrius thing there with the cave. Cool. So we can give it a uh, common mushroom a little bit early. And then I do know another thing. Yeah, we can give it a moral here for the uh, exotic foraging bundle, which is going to be great. And then still coconut, cactus, fruit, maple syrup, oak resin, or pine tar to actually finish that. So, yeah, still a ways away from actually finishing that. And then blackberry, hazelnut, wild plum. Those are going to be the foraging items to look forward to next month, you guys, or next season, whatever. Uh, but, yeah, we still have a lot of flowers in our inventory. I don't know if I'll, uh, I guess I'll put them up at least for right now. Do I want to, uh, you know, I'll put them up over here. I'll put all of them up except for, like, maybe one or two of them. Uh, let's see. Whoops. Let's see. I guess there you go. At, le at least I have a couple things in my inventory just in case we come across anyone. We can just give that to them and then, uh, yeah, that's, that's fine. We still have that empty slot right there because we don't have the, uh, oh, yeah, and we already grabbed the stuff out of the cave over there. Cool. But yeah, it, we still have the empty slot over there because we have our, uh, copper hoe currently being upgraded at the, uh, at the whatever his name is. But let's go over here. I think in the end of last episode, when I put this battery in this this wall, it gave us a mission saying I need to go do something else. I wonder if it's going to be the same thing or if it's going to be different because I'm doing this like a second time or something like that, right? That goes right there. It's really hard to see. So do I grab the battery and then I right click that, right? Yep, there you go. It worked. The log box swings open and inside there's a note. Your first task. Bring, oh yeah, bring a rainbow shell to the train platform and leave it in the box, Mr. QI, Key, or Quee, Key. I don't know, I'm going to call it Key. But, uh, yeah, rainbow shells. I'm like, we've had a lot of luck finding rainbow shells during the summertime, which is great. There's a spice berry up there. Uh, we had a lot of luck finding rainbow shells and just that, you know, every time we found one, you know, we get like, what, $300 out of them. So I always just sold them so we can get a pretty good amount of money from them. So if we do go to the beach right now, which I kind of want to do, oh yeah, and we're relatively low on energy. So I might want to eat some. I'm like, I have these mushrooms. I've got a lot of them. I can eat them, get a little bit of uh, energy back. Uh, but I do want to go to the beach, go check up on what's going on over there, see if there are any rainbow coral for us to get. And then, yeah, tomorrow is the dan uh, Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. So I guess we'll have to prepare for that. Uh, not really do anything tomorrow because it's going to be like a whole day. It's going, it's, the event's going to take up the whole entire day, like, right? Uh, we, we start in the morning and then whenever the event's over, it's like nighttime. It's like 12 p.m. or something like that, right? So you basically have to waste a whole day for that, unfortunately. But what are you going to do? Anyways, let's go down here so if we can find a, uh, a rainbow, sh rainbow shell. I don't know if we actually find one. There's no trash around here, Haley. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, leave that a broken CD, though. I'll keep that because you could actually recycle that, right? I'll only give her actual literal trash. <laughs> Not going to give her anything else. But uh, let's keep looking around here. Yeah, see, there's worms right there. I think there's worms. Yeah, there's worms there. I think there's more worms over here somewhere that uh, people were commenting about that I missed. And there's a coral right there. Just a regular one. If it was a rainbow one or a rainbow shell, that would have been good. Sea urchin right there. Where was the, uh, the worms that were over here? Pretty sure there are worms up here or something that I missed. I guess it's not there. Maybe they despawned or something like that, right? Uh, like I said, they're supposed to despawn after a couple days, but not like after one. That one must have been there for a little while. I must have missed them for a couple days there, huh? But yeah, we, we... Oh, a gold star sea urchin. And a regular, uh... What do you call it? Yeah, just coral right there. Nothing too special right there, unfortunately. So I guess it's going to have to be a little while until we get the uh, the rainbow shell and uh, go put that on the train platform for Mr. Key or whatever. So that's going to be quite a while. But for right now, I guess we'll... Oh, yeah, I guess I forgot to put bait back in there, but whatever. Not that huge of a... Ah, oh, you know what? I'll, I'll do it anyways. We're already here, right? So uh, let's get this out. With, uh, it's 140 right now. It's not too bad. Uh, definitely want to go to the community center, like I said. Boom, there you go. Go to the... Oh, I guess I'll do it down here, too. Get out of my way, Haley. <laughs> You don't go down here, too. But uh, I do want to go to the community center. That's like the main thing I want to do right now, because we have like three or four things I want to give to the community center. You know, the regular common mushroom or whatever, the moral mushroom, the... I think I will give it the frozen tier. And then, oh yeah, by the way, in the mines, remember uh, when we went to the mines last episode to get a little bit of copper to actually upgrade our uh, O2 copper, we actually got a new boot or something like that, right? Where is that? 
Uh, there it is right there. Yeah, Tundra Boot. Yeah. So we have, I think, one more defense than we had last time. So that's pretty cool. So hopefully we're not going to die quite as easily, quite as easily to all the creators in the cave and right. Uh, and what not, right? <laughs> Jeez. Let's go back up here to the community center, though. I think Demetrius usually hangs out around this fountain, right? During the daytime. Uh, yep, there he is right there. And I do have a potato. Two potatoes, actually. So, uh Oh, wow! Thank you. This is a very interesting specimen. We got a new achievement right there. A new friend. We got that achievement. I think that's for getting a first. Oh, yeah, and the kids hang out up here, too. And yep, there's Penny. Oh, I need to. Assume. Okay, that's another location we can come to try and find Penny. And I guess Vincent, uh, whatever her name is as well, if we ever want to find her. But I believe that means Vincent. Yep, is our first five star friend. Because I think last episode, we went through all the achievements over here. Where is that? Yeah, there it is right there. Reach a five hearted friend. Uh, we reach a five heart friend level with someone. Yeah, and we just got that with Demetrius. Really cool. Didn't think it'd be with him, though. I thought, I'm like, Shane was like our first, like, two heart friend. And then uh, he stayed in first place. And then Demetrius just out of nowhere, just boom, goes up the first place immediately right there. I guess we can talk to him. Get a little bit of conversation going on there. Hmm. If Stri Oh my gosh, when, how do you even pronounce that? Stri Strigolactone levels. <laughs> could be increased it would be it would have a proportional effect on my what my growth sure oh sorry i was pondering some data and i didn't notice you were there okay sound like you was showing off bragging about stuff <laughs> anyways let's give a uh, penny which one do i want to give her let's let's give her this silver star white uh poppy boom Thank you, I really love this. Hey, that's good. Thankfully, you're the only person in town that likes poppies, so, you know, if I ever come across any more poppies, you're getting a hater, because everyone else hates them. So, hey, I guess that's a little little bit of a blessing in disguise for you, huh? Anyways, uh, let's see, where am I going here? I need to go down, I think down there? Because I think there's crops, right? So go down here for foraging. I believe it's fall foraging and then exotic foraging. Yeah, so there's the moral. There you go. And then we have fall foraging with the common mushroom. Perfect. All right. Well, I don't think we have anything else. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, um, yeah, the frozen tear. Is there anything else here, though, real quick? <laughs> It'd be weird if ice cream was in the community center. I needed to have the ice cream for that. Oh, yeah. And by the way, I mentioned the mayonnaise machine or whatever earlier. How do you make that? Just like out of curiosity. Where is that? Uh, there it is right there. Mayonnaise machine. Okay. So earth crystal. I don't know. I, I think we have a few of those. I don't know if we uh like either sold them or donated them or whatever, but I'm pretty sure I kept them. And then 15 wood, 15 stone, and then one copper bar. I don't know if we have that, because I know last episode we got a bunch of copper specifically to upgrade the, uh, the, 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 the what do you call it, the, the hoe. Uh, so I don't know if I have any extra left over, because I specifically got enough just to get one extra one. So, anyways, where was this uh, frozen tier, by the way? It must be in, like, some ice bundle or something. I don't know where that would be. Boiler room, blacksmith bundle. Oh, an adventures bundle? No. Where is this? Ge oh, yep, geologist bundle. And then fire quartz as well. Oh, yeah. Didn't we have? No, we had something else. We had like ocean quartz or ocean rock or something like that last episode. And we gave it to the museum. So I guess if we come across another one or. uh, Well, yeah, because, yeah, we never came across the fire quartz. I guess if we come across the fire quartz in general, then we'd have that one done. But uh, mine carts repaired. Ooh, so that's really cool if we get that done. But no, I guess we have to get all three of these. Huh? Uh, all three of these are done in order for the mine carts to be repaired. And uh, still black. But uh, that's do that's totally doable. We could do that no problem. Slime, uh, ninety nine of those. I don't know how much progress we have already, but that's completely doable. So that means uh, I'm like we only need to have two of them right there, and we already have the ten bat wings. So that's completely doable. The geologist bundle. I think it's all just kind of weighing on whether or not we can find a fire quartz, right? So let's go do that. Where was that at the boiler room? So let's go give it the uh, the what's it called the frozen tier. And I guess that'll be good to go. And by the way, because it is another day, and we gave Sebastian. That frozen tier yesterday, last episode. Where is... Well, I guess we didn't get any uh, relationship points with him then. That kind of sucks. Or maybe maybe it takes like a week to update or something like that. I don't know. Whoops. I don't want to go up there. I want to go down here to the boiler room. And uh, give it this frozen frozen a tier. And then uh, for the geologist bundle. And then boom. And then yeah, fire quartz. Uh, gold ingot. Uh, silver or uh, iron ingot. That, that's completely doable. And then uh, copper ingot. That's completely doable. Gold ingot, we might be able to do that if we come across, what is it, layer 60 when we should start finding that? Because I think layer 40 is when we started finding silver or iron, right? So I th think, and I think we started finding copper at level 20, right? Something like that? And I think it's every 20 layers or something. Either that or it's every 40 layers, which would mean I have to wait until layer 80. Ooh. Oh, wait, by the way, what am I doing? Where am I going? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. 
I guess I'm like going up to the train station or something like that or going up to the mines or something like that. Even though I don't really need to. I guess I can give a sweet pea to someone. Maybe I'll give that to Abigail over here. Or maybe uh, we have a silver star one. Maybe I'll give that one to Maru and I'll give the regular one to Abigail there. So, yep, there you go. Hey, how'd you know that I was hungry? This looks delicious. Yeah, apparently she done like like that message. Just it, it, it's not like time sensitive or something like that. I thought it was because I was like, oh, man, maybe I give it to her like during. Whoa, this is a super gift. Thank you. Wow. Is that like her favorite? But apparently I gave uh, Abigail a gift like during like lunchtime or something like that. And I was like, oh, man, is that uh, do you get a better response if you give it like during a certain time of the day? But apparently not. Anyways, uh, was it Maru? I'm like gifts. It's like, is it just nor Wait, what is it? I guess it's just a liked gift. Uh, it sounded like she said it was a super gift or whatever. It sounded like she liked it a little bit more and just liked. But whatever. Uh, anyways, 5 p.m. I've got a, I've got an okay amount of inventory space. Oh yeah, I did get a comment. Like I think I mentioned it last episode. Oh, and by the way, apparently Linus does like forage things. So does he like a mushroom? I've got a, got an extra one there. I've got flowers and stuff here. I guess we can try and give him uh, one of these. Oh yeah, I've already given him two gifts this week. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, man. All right. Well, I, I guess we could. I mean, there's worms right there too. <laughs> Uh, I guess we could go over here to the, uh, to the, whatever this is over here, to the spa, get a little bit of recharge going on for stamina, and, uh, I, I didn't, like I said previously, last episode, someone said to make a chest, put it in the mines, that way you can kind of empty out your inventory and, uh, you know, you don't have more room for loot and all that kind of stuff, right? Which definitely makes sense. I don't know if we'd have enough time to do that today, though, because I'm like, yeah, well, then again, yeah, tomorrow's going to be that, like, jelly event or whatever, right? So, we're not going to be able to do anything. I don't know, maybe we might actually have the first day of fall this episode that'd be kind of interesting but you know i do want to continue getting like progress done and whatnot so uh, and i still have flowers to give to people i guess if anything we could drop those off maybe i'll sell that sea urchin right there and uh we're pretty much full i could i could eat like one or two mushrooms but uh yeah we're we're pretty much full okay 6 40 something we're probably going to get home at like 7 30 7 40 maybe it's eight o'clock or something like that and then we'll probably make it back to the mines at like nine or something like that so we'll have a little bit of time uh you know what? I, I, I don't think I don't think I need to do that to get the like a chest or anything. We can do that a little bit later. I guess we can go over there and specifically get copper ore, iron ore, and I know someone commented saying there was something like some sort of crystal you could break. It was either purple or something, and uh, every time you break it, you're supposed to get like something really rare out of it. So I guess I can keep my eye, eyes peeled for anything like that. Uh, but you know, if I need any inventory space, I have I, I could eat that ice cream. I can get a little bit of inventory space back from that. We have other things like the spangles and all the kind of stuff. So I guess we'll do, go down to level 50 and start at 51, I suppose, and uh, see what we could find. Okay, well here we go. Speaking of such, with these crystals, boom, there we go. Was it? The, it was either purple crystals or there was the purple rock that that guy commented. I'm not 100 percent sure, and it sounded like bats and stuff. Yep, there, there is a bat right there. Boom, boom. That crystal didn't give us anything, unfortunately, but we got bat wings right there. We got two of them. Nice. And, uh, boom. Slice and dice. Oh, man. Nice. That barrel. Oh, wow. Oh, it's just sap. Oh, I thought it was something else. I thought it was something a little bit more valuable, but no. <laughs> man. And I'm not finding any uh, copper down here. Oh, we have an event going on. We're going to get swarmed by something bats. Or like some ice creature. I don't know. Probably just bats or something. Ah, well, here's iron. Let's mine the iron. There you go. And we have these little, little, little coal creatures hopping all over the place. Get out of here! At least I'm taking a little bit less damage from them, apparently. Uh, but, oh, what in the world? It's like I broke those rocks and they, like, came to life or something like that. We have a bunch of bats still attacking me over here. Man, I need to, I need to, I need to break. Oh, there you go. Never mind. Boom. Go down. Go down. Oh, yeah, and you could block. I forgot about it. Whoa. Where does that go? It's like another pathway. Am I able to go that way? Uh, I guess not. It looks like a pathway, but I guess you can't actually go there. Hmm, interesting. I guess it's just a little bit of decoration or something, huh? But I, w I will continue to break some rocks. I know we got some, like, what do you call it, uh, copper from just regular rocks before. Oh, wow, an Omni Geode right there. Not bad. Whoops, accidentally broke that with, uh, what was it this they were talking about? Yeah, we got an emerald right there. It must have been that reddish rock. Yeah, that must have been the thing they were, t they were talking about. So I guess if we come across another reddish rock like that, definitely want to break it. Oh, man, whoa. It's like a backpack here. Oh, with a little bit of coal in there, don't mind if I do. And there's a uh, all right way down, so yep, see you later there, bat, or whatever you are. Oh, wow, a couple frozen tears already. Frozen tear, frozen tear. Wow, it must be a lot more common than I thought. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ghosts! Heckin' ghosts! What in the world? We're, I'm like, it is October now, so it only makes sense we got heckin' ghosts, but I didn't know they'd be in the heckin' game. Get out of here. Oh my god, I'm getting quartered. Oh man, okay, we already found the way down. Awesome. 
Get the slime. Can I get that? I guess my inventory is full, huh? But oh, the ghost like teleported there. Ugh, that's spooky. There you go. Hit him. I'm like, I am doing a little bit of damage there. There you go. I'm hitting him still. Uh, do I want to? Do I want to eat the ice cream? It's 10:50 right now. We have a lot of time. Oh, there. Whoa. We got that thing. We need that. Um, potato. Do I want to eat that or what am I gonna? What am I going to get out of my inventory to get a little bit more? Oh yeah, the bait. Why do I not have that on that? There you go. <laughs> so there we go. Sea urchin. Broken seed. I'll, I'll trash that at least for right now. We have a ton of those at home. We don't need that. Stone, I'll, I'll trash out. We have a ton of that. Ghost fish. And the solar essence. We got that now too. Cool. And you get a pretty good amount of energy and health from this. But is there something we get a lot of health from? Yeah, you do get a lot of health there. From the ice cream. I kind of want to eat that. We have a lot of bat wings already. Periwinkle. Kind of want to get rid of that because it's just kind of trash anyways. So there you go. And coal. We have a ton of coal. I don't know. If, if I need... Oh, and by the way, wow. Another frozen tier there. And the way down. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> break these. And if we come across any more... Uh, was it reddish rocks or something like that? Definitely want to break those. Let's see if we could uh, get any more awesome loot out of that. There we go. Kill these slimes. I really want to... Try and get a better weapon. I don't know when we'll actually get a better weapon than this. Because we've had this, like, bug head or whatever this thing is. Oh, what in the world? Random stone right there. But we've had this bug's head for a while. I'm like, it does good damage. It kills enemies decently fast. But, like, you know, you've had this weapon for a while. You, you think you get an upgrade. You think you start climbing up the totem pole and getting better weapons over time. But no. And it's midnight already, so I need I need to start thinking about heading out of here. But, ah. Uh, I guess, yeah, you know what? Let, let's go. We have iron right there. I guess we'll, uh... There you go. We'll, we'll mine that. And then boom, we got, wow, three iron ore right there. Don't mind if I do. Let's go. What is this? Level 54 right here. Man. I don't know if we'll, oh man, more iron right there. I guess we'll, whoa, what's that? Something right there. Hold on. Iron, boom. Take that. What is this? What is that? Can I break that? Oh, my inventory's full. It looks like a heckin' diamond. It, oh, we got a diamond. Amazing, you guys. Awesome. Get the heck out of here, ghost. Uh, I just want to find the way out of here, and there's quartz right there. We don't really need that. I don't know if there's anything else of value here. I, I really want to at least leave. Ah, uh, man. I don't think I can. I don't think I can. Uh, I'm getting chased by ghosts and stuff. I need to find the way down. Go, hurry up. No. Oh, the ghost actually teleported away, though, so that's good. Ah, uh, man. I'm not finding the way down. It's 1110. Oh, my gosh. This is not good. This is not... Oh, what? Oh, I got killed. Oh, I wasn't looking at my health. I knew I was low health there. Man, I was too busy trying to find the way out. Oh, hopefully we didn't lose anything good during that. Oh, that's like the second or third time we've died. Oh, that's embarrassing. I guess if anything, we could have gone up the ladder like four or five times and then use the elevator to get out of there. Oh, actually, aren't you able to go up the ladder and then... Exit the ca oh, I guess, yeah. I could have exited the cave by doing that. Go on the ladder. Because I think if you use the ladder, you do get the option to trip. Just leave the cave, too. Man. I wish I remembered that during that right there. But probably lost some really good items right there. Yeah, I died. I got woken up by Linus. Hey, I found you unconscious in the mines. You're lucky that I happened to pass by. Be a little bit more careful next time, okay? All right, okay. Thank you very much, Linus. Now I'm going to pass out and lose stuff again, right? Ow, I seem to have lost 600 gold and three items from my backpack. What were they? No, the goldfish! Or ghost fish! Hopefully that wasn't anything too valuable. Uh, but I'm pretty sure we'll find three slimes. I'm like, we need 99. That kind of sucks we lost three right there, but at least we didn't lose the diamond. At least we didn't lose, uh, what was it, frozen tears or anything like that? Uh, I, I guess, if anything, this isn't too bad losing those items, but the ghost fish, I feel like that's, that's pretty heckin' rare. From the heckin' go- oh my gosh, and it's still 120, so we need to leave right now. We'll- we'll lose more money if we don't- oh, we're not gonna make it home, are we? I don't know if there's like a farm totem or anything like that, like- like- like some sort of totem that you'd have to teleport home. There is no way I can go home right now, you guys. I guess if anything, we'll lose a little bit of money, we'll lose another thousand or like six hundred dollars or something like that. We just lost a thousand just a minute ago, we're gonna lose another six hundred- or- we just lost a 600 just a minute ago. We're going to lose, lose another 600. I got two spice berries there. No matter if I do. Man, we're losing so much money. This is so bad. Hey, I leveled up. I got the warrior ring. Okay, I can grab that. So, oh, man. Hey, level four mining proficiency. Uh, pickaxe proficiency. New crafter recipe. Transmute. Uh, wait, what? Transmute. And it says it's iron. Aren't I already able to make iron ingots? I'm like a made them before, haven't I? If I smelt an iron, maybe I'm able to 
smelt iron faster. I, I don't know. I'm I'm, con I'm kind of confused. And then a glowstone ring. I assume if you wear that, it lights the area around you a little bit better. Oh yeah, and then we sold a couple things there, so we got seventy dollars overnight there. But yeah, we have like some sort of jelly event going on now, so <sighs> kind of a, kind of a wasted day today, unfortunately. So that kind of sucks. And we lost a little bit more money there. I know, kind of sucks. <sighs> but oh yeah, and then we got the solar essence. That's good diamond there. Amazing stuff. Solar essence, boom. Where was that? That was at the adventurers one too, right? Or geologist or something. Where was that? We saw that. Yeah, we can give it the solar essence actually instead of the slime. Okay, so we have the adventurers bundle done. Awesome. Do we need diamonds for anything? It'd be kind of weird if they don't. Oh, wow, you don't. So I could just, okay, donate it to Gunther then. Okay. You know, I did get a comment from someone, and I've been getting this comment from, I don't know if the same person or anything like that for the whole series up to this point or whatever, but saying like, if I find like a dinosaur egg and like one other thing, I forgot what it, why do I have full energy, by the way? I'm actually kind of surprised by that. <laughs> but uh, if I come across like a dinosaur egg or something else, not to give it to Gunther because it's supposed to be like super duper rare. You don't want to, uh, you don't want to get rid of that. You definitely want to keep it for like later in the game or something like that. So yeah, I guess if we come across a dinosaur egg or whatever the other one was that they were talking about, I guess we'll do this. So, oh, only one thing stacked up right there. Uh, if we come across anything like that, I, I guess we'll uh, we'll keep it in our inventories and whatnot, make sure we won't lose it, right? So, it's definitely, uh, speaking of such, keep the diamond there, keep the solar essence. Coral, we'll sell that. Potato, I guess we can give that to Demetrius again, but I think we already gave him two things this week, so I guess we'll keep the potato for right now, and then common mushroom, keep that sea urchin, blah blah blah, iron ore, I guess we'll start smelting that, just because I'm like, <laughs> we had, it takes forever, and, oh yeah, by the way, yeah, what, what are they saying about the transmute or whatever, what does that even mean? Where is that? Oh, here it is right here. Oh, okay, so you can make an iron bar out of copper? Yeah, a bar of pure iron, what? How does that work? I don't know, I'm kind of confused. And then the mayonnaise machine, yeah. Copper, I am like, I don't think we got any copper right there, by the way, so. I, I don't know if it works from, like, can I get three copper bars out of one iron? I don't know. Uh, yeah, so we have three right there. We do have the earth crystal, though, so we could do that. Still need two more copper in order to get the, uh, by the way, boom. Oh, uh, yeah, let's smelt that like I wanted to do. But, uh, oh, and then, yeah, we have an Omni Geode as well, so we can go to the Blacksmith. I did not look at the bottom left of the... Oh, the coop isn't done still. What? Why is it taking her so long to do that? I don't know. And by the way, uh, before I can forget, let's get these a going, and then I need to water my crops again. Uh, but there you go. And then, uh, what am I doing here? Emerald, okay. Diamond, we need to give Diamond and Emerald to Gunther. Frozen Tear, we have three of those now. That's insane. What in the world? A crystal fabled to be the frozen tears of a yeti. <laughs> I guess we'll give those to Sebastian. I guess I'll put that up over here. Uh, so let's do that. And then I have to water all my crops as usual. You guys know about that, right? So we're going to have to pause while I do that. Uh, then coral, I'll sell that. Sea urchin, I'll sell that. Common mushroom, spice berries, and blah, blah, blah. I'll put all those up at least for right now uh, in this chest out here for all the farming stuff. And then we have hops there again as well. So uh, common mushroom, I'll put that there and then there. And then spice berries, put that over here in the foraging stuff. Then, yeah, we need to go look at the, uh, the mushrooms again, but... Dear... Oh, yeah, once again, here we go. Oh, wait, one, the world? Dear Mr. Waffle, last night a Joja team member found you incapacitated. A medical team was dispatched to bring you home safely, and we're glad that you're okay. You've been billed $650 for the service, so I lost, like, $1,250 all in all last night. Golly, that sucks. And I lost, like, three items, too, like ghost fish or whatever. Man. Even uh, the Morris, Joja customer satisfaction representative. Okay, interesting that we didn't get, like, uh, Dr. whatever his name was. Oh, and by the way, whoa! Dear Waffle, I was conducting a field study the other day, and I found this specimen from Demetrius. He gave us a rainbow shell. We needed that. Exactly what we needed, Demetrius. This is why we're best friends with Demetrius. He knows just what I need it when I need it. So there you go. We're going to get the rainbow shell. We're going to put that on the train tracks, I guess, tomorrow, because there's supposed to be some sort of event, and I'm sure we're going to read about it here in just a sec. I'm sure Mayor Lewis is going to... Send us a letter, I'm going to have to read it here in a sec, but uh, I hope you find this as interesting as I did. Yes, I do, and I'm going to be using it immediately there. And this one from Mayor Lewis, or... Wait, what? Dear Waffle, tonight at around 10 o'clock p.m., a rare and beautiful event will take place. The Moonlight Jellies will be passing by Pelican Town on their journey south for the winter. On their long journey south for the winter. We're all gathering at the beach to watch. Okay, so this actually takes place at night. At 10 o'clock at night. Interesting. Okay, so I guess today isn't a wasted day after all. That's good. Uh, we're all gathering at the beach to watch. You don't want to miss this. See you tonight. All right. Sounds good. 
I'm assuming we can't go there right now to go go look at the beach to go try and find the seashells and whatnot, right? But we have more blueberries done. Cool. Awesome. So we have blueberries done. We have the daily hops done as well. And today's going to be the last time we're going to be able to harvest everything here, except for the uh, corn, which the corn didn't give us anything today anyway. So kind of sucks, but what are you going to do, right? Uh, rainbow shell. Definitely want to keep that in my inventory. Don't want to lose that. And then uh, I guess these other flowers here. I guess I'll put them up. I guess I'll put them up at least for right now. And then uh, I know this is a silver star poppy. Oh, you know what? We have other gold star things over here. I'll, I'll put those up in the, in the rare stuff chest. But the regular coral, I'll sell that. Blueberries, I don't know what to do with that, at least for right now. And then uh, this, this mushroom here, I don't know what to do with it, so I'll put it up right there. So there you go. And then I need to water all my crops. And all the iron ingots that we have over there are still smelting. How? How are they still taking this long? I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to water all my crops over here. I don't know what in the world Robin's doing. She's supposed to be, like, building my coop, but I guess she gave up. So, <laughs> I guess I have to wait a little while. And by the way, that's I'm supposed to go in uh, foraging, right? Oh, I think they just finished. Nope, they just, like, flared up right there or whatever. So, that's kind of weird. I, actually, I, I don't, it, it doesn't even make sense for me to water everything over here, right? Because everything's going to be dead tomorrow anyways, except for the corn. So, I guess I'll just water the corn and that's it. I think these are corn, right? With a little, like, yellow at the top. I think those are corn. I don't know. I think, yeah, okay, those are all hot peppers. And I don't know what these are right here. I don't know what these are. Yeah, I don't know what they are. What in the world did I put there? This one, I'm like, we tried to organize it for summer. You know, we had like strips here of like, oh, this is like corn, this is hops, this is blueberries and whatnot. But it kind of gave up halfway through, especially when we had that sprinkler, right? So that kind of sucks. But I guess if anything, yeah, we could save a little bit of time just by watering only the corn. Because I think... I think only the corn is going to survive anyways, and it looks like the silver, or the iron, or whatever over here is done, which is good. Uh, I kind of want to go check up on the blacksmith, just because I feel like today we're going to get our hoe back, and uh, we, could, we could use that to actually get all the heckin' worms. If they're still around, they might have despawned, who knows. Uh, and I guess we could also still put the rainbow shell on the train tracks or whatever, too. Which, by the way, can I read that again? Uh, I don't know, where is that going to be? Letters? Get from Demetrius News Story? Was that it? No, that's from Stardew Valley Tribune. Yeah. Okay. I don't. Know, I don't know how I could read that note that we have, or unless I go back to the, the tunnel over there and reread that. But let's go over here. Let's go check up on the uh, the mushrooms because we can't go on through the beach. I'm pretty sure. Wow, they're like setting up for the Moonlight Jellies Festival. Uh, we can't go forage over there. So let's go. Okay. We just have a bunch of brown mushrooms. Not bad. Can't complain. Uh, I'm like it, it does give you pretty good stuff anyways if you eat it right and. I'm sure some people would like it as a gift, like maybe Lioness or something like that. I think someone said that Lioness likes foraging items, so I'm like it kind of makes sense for the guy that's living in a tent in the middle of the woods and stuff like that, right? Whoops, this is the wrong thing. Uh, let's go over here, but we do want to go to the museum. We have quite a lot of things we want to give to the museum, you guys. And I'm actually, like I said earlier, surprised that we have a uh, full energy bar right there, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but let's go to the museum, and while we're over there, let's go to the blacksmith. Go see if our hoe is done, and give him this Omni Geode to open up and see what's inside there. And then, uh, keep an eye on the clock. So at 10... Oh! What in the world is this? Ah, <sighs> how am I going to reach that letter in the back? Says George in the wheelchair. And then there's Penny coming over here to help, it looks like. Gus is over there, not helping. <laughs> And there's Penny right there, going to help. Here, let me help you, Mr. Molner. <laughs> what is that voice? <laughs> Here, let me help you, Mr. Molner. That was a little better, but it's still kind of weird. Kind of kind of creepy. Pushing him out of the way, Penny. What in the world are you doing? <laughs> is she going to reach? Is she able to reach? There you go. Hey, there, there. Uh, this is still a pretty bad voice. What am I doing? Hmm, I could have done it myself, and I can certainly move around on my own. How feeble do you think I am? And then I walk in from nowhere. I didn't even see myself come from this direction. I like I was like hiding the bushes over there. Waffle, you were watching us? Wait, who says this? Waffle, you were watching us? I was. You did a kind thing there, Penny. I was. You should have asked instead of assuming George wanted help. Well, he, he was kind of talking to himself right there. Like, oh, I wish I could reach to the back of the mailbox. Uh, and then I'm just taking a walk, minding my own business. You know what? You know what? I feel like if I do this one, I'll, I'll get a relate. I'll get a positive point with Penny, but a negative point with George. And I think if I do this one, I'll get a negative point with Penny and maybe a positive point with George. I guess this like nothing happens, like it's neutral. But I'm kind of. I feel like we already have a good thing with George, so maybe we'll do this one. Maybe get a get on Penny's good side a little bit. You know, start building that relationship a little bit more. Just because I'm like, if anything, we probably only have like one heart with her anyways from that uh, Poppy we gave her yesterday, right? So might as well do this, right? 
I was. You did a kind thing there, Penny. Pushing him out of the way and reaching into his mailbox without his permission. Thank you. I just wish George wasn't so upset. I was only trying to help. I don't know why. It was, what's, what's with that voice? It's like a Mickey Mouse voice or something. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. Did he fall asleep? What happened there? Uh, no. No, I'm sorry, miss. I shouldn't have gotten so angry. Oh, so is this a good ending here? It was actually very kind of you to help me out. That's okay, Mr. Moeller. I understand. <laughs> I should stop doing these voices. They're so bad. <laughs> and she's like stressed out over the situation or whatever right there. It must be difficult to grow old. Was that me? I don't, I don't know who's saying this. I think that's her saying it to me. I'd rather not think about it. It's just a different part of life. That's why we should respect our elders. Hey, I'd rather die young. Golly. What am I going to do here? I'd rather not think about it. It's just a different part of life. I, yeah, you know what? Respecting your elders is pretty important. Let's do this one. That's why we should respect our elders. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know what they've gone through. You'll never know what they've gone through because you're living in a completely different time and they won't know what you're going through because you're living in a completely different time than they did. So uh, everyone needs to just respect each other. But uh, let's just do this one anyways. Respect our elders. That's nice of you to say. I totally agree with you. We should treat our elders with the same respect we hope to receive ourselves someday. Yeah, because we're going to be elders someday, right? In like 50 years or whatever, right? Well, it was interesting talking to you, Waffle. I should go. I don't know how this voice is going to like sound in the recording. Like it sounds pretty bad, like hearing myself say it. <laughs> then I teleport over here. Okay. Uh, so what happened there? Did we get like a good relationship point with the... Uh, well, we still have two stars with... Or two hearts with... And then we have two uh, with Penny. And I think... Yeah, so we gave her the poppy. She loved that. We know that. And her, her birthday is like next episode, the second of fall. So definitely want to remember gold star uh, poppy. Give that to her. And yeah, the new uh, week starts. So we can, we can actually give her the silver star one tomorrow on the first of fall. And then the gold star one on the second of fall. And like, she'll like shoot up. She'll probably be like a five star friend at that point, right? That's going to be really cool. Uh, but anyways, what was I saying right there? I got completely, we got completely derailed right there with that whole like cutscene and stuff like that. I'm like, I love when the game has those random cutscenes, those random events. And then yeah, dance with the moonlight jellies. I wonder if we're actually going to dance with someone this time. Because we didn't get to dance with someone during the flower festival or whatever. I want to get, yeah, I guess there's no mission there for us. Oh, I, man, I keep, I keep forgetting to, oh, I was about to check his heck in trash. I keep forgetting to check the uh, the TV and the like the weather and the luck and stuff like that. This is, this is like the second episode in a row where I kind of there you go, <laughs> where I kind of slacked on that, right? But oh yeah, th this is what I'm talking about right here. Apparently, this is where Penny lives. Is this true? There's a book down there. Is this? Uh, am I able to go? Is this her bedroom? I assume so. Was this fairies, Junimos, and other fables? Uh, and then there's Pam, of course, right there. I assume this is also where Penny lives, just, you know, going off the comments and whatnot, but while we're in the area over here, oh, and there's, uh, Mayor Lewis. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, yeah, he's tending to his flower bed. I'm like, all those flowers are about to die whenever it comes fall and wintertime, right? So might as well tend to them while they're still alive. Speaking of alive, let's go over here and check him on the blacksmith while he's still open. I don't know what kind of segue that was, but it kind of worked. I don't know. Uh, anyway, hey, yep, there you go. We get the copper hoe. Perfect. I didn't see the pop up, but I'm glad that I checked anyways. Receive the copper hoe. Perfect. Just in time for tomorrow, the first of uh, fall. So we could actually, you know, plant all the crap. Actually, you know what? We should probably, because we have so much money right now, we should probably go, because uh, Pierre's is open right now, buy a bunch of corn seeds tomorrow, get a head start on them, plant them like right now. And I wonder if I could just uproot all my heckin' plants that aren't corn, just kind of get them out of the way and then. Oh, yeah, by the way, you have an, we have an Omni Geode. Yeah, here we go. Uh, 25 gold right there. Oh, we got an Earth Crystal right there. I'm like, we needed that for the, uh, for whatever. And then, yeah, we could buy, uh, whoops. We could buy two copper off. Him. I kind of want to. I kind of want to. Just so we, you know, just so we have the mayonnaise machine. I don't have to go back to the mines and all this stuff. I know people are going to be like, oh, you, you shouldn't have bought copper ore off of him, but there you go. Boom. I spent 150 buckaroos right there. I'm like, I guess we can get 50 back right there from the Earth Crystal. Or the Diamond, get 750 right there. Or 250 from the Emerald, but I'm not doing that. I need to give those to Gunther. Let's not let's not forget about him and the museum. And I'm like, it's like an educational thing. We should definitely prioritize Gunther and the museum. Unless we have a dinosaur egg or whatever that other thing that was that that guy commented about. Or people. It might have been multiple people. You never know. So 
so where am I going to put this? Let's see, where haven't I? Like, down here we haven't put anything. I don't know if I want to section stuff off, like have diamonds, like gems, like in certain areas, and then have like other things in certain areas. I'm like, over here, I'm, I've kind of got that going on, like, I've got a bunch of bones over there, you know, kind of got a theme going on over there. So we kind of have that happening, and then there's an earth crystal, and there's amethyst. I'm like, you know, we could have emerald, we could have amethyst, we could have diamond. I don't know if there's anything else here. I, I forget what that is. Is that amber? I don't know. And then I guess we'd have whatever this is. Is this quartz? Maybe. Uh, we could have them all in like one gem area or mineral area, whatever you want to call it. So that'd be kind of cool. But for this, I don't know where to put these. The diamond and the, uh, the whatever, the emerald. So I guess we'll put that there just because it kind of fits. And then this diamond. I don't know. I guess I'll put this here. Actually, hold on. I do know what to do. Let's move this. Rearrange. And let's uh, move this out of the way. And we'll put the tier there, and we'll put this thing there. What is that thing? I don't know what that is. Hopefully it's not a dinosaur egg, and I already missed out on that. <laughs> let's go over here. Let's go check up on the diamond, and go check up on the, uh, the emerald. I'm like, we already know what emeralds and diamonds are, right? But let's just read it anyways. Diamond, a rare and valuable gem. You don't say. <laughs> is it going to say the same thing for emeralds? Because it kind of is the same thing. A precious stone with a brilliant green color. Huh, that's true. Anyways, uh, I'm like, just not telling us anything we don't already know, right? But there you go, we're, we're kind of educating ourselves there, which is always good. Always want to keep your brain, uh, your, your noggin a jogging, if you will. Uh, did I check? I don't know if I checked their trash can there. I kind of want to. <laughs> and it still is 12 p. I'm like, I'm, I'm, oh, what in the? Hey, trash bread again. I think I gave that to, who did I give that to? I gave it to someone and they liked it, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, oh, man. I was just about to say, yeah, because we have the hoe now, we can go to the beach. There were like four or five different spots that we had worms, but yeah, it's going to be closed off because of the heckin' jelly dance or whatever, right? So that kind of sucks. And there's Pam. It might have been Pam that we gave the, the trash bread to last time. <laughs> I don't know if I'll give it to her again, but that uh, nothing inside there. But I guess we'll keep our eyes peeled. Head on up to the railroad. Leave the uh, rainbow shell on the track. And then I guess whatever, whatever happens next after that, I guess we'll have to keep our eyes peeled for that, huh? And then also keep our eyes peeled for worms. Don't want to forget about that. Because I am probably going to be missing out on so many of them that we missed out on because the freaking hoe wasn't uh, being upgraded and I couldn't use it. But, and there's Penny right there. What is she doing there? I don't know. That's kind of a weird place for her to just be. <laughs> Let's go up here anyways. I don't know if there are any worms here. I think, oh yeah, I think there were up here. Maybe. Oh, today's Sunday. Oh, okay. Does, oh wow, we found a book right there. Man, I don't want to go back to the library already. Uh, but I wonder if, what is her name? Robin? Maybe she only works on, like, building stuff during weekdays or something like that. Maybe that's why she's not doing anything. I don't, I guess we have to leave the shell in that box right there, huh? So it would be this. Boom! You threw the shell in the box. Immediately, a note falls down from the rafters above. Well done! Your next task. T uh, place ten beets inside the mayor's fridge, Mr. Key. Ten beets. I don't think we have the Beets? I'm thinking of radish right now. I don't know if... When do beets... I don't think we've had them. Where do I... How do I check that again? This? Yeah. Items shipped. Yeah, radish. That's what I'm thinking of right there. So beets. Where would they be? Is that it? That's probably beets right there. And I, I don't think we had them yet. So it might be a fall... Like, like, thing. Maybe. Oh, and by the way, we have something going on over here. The mysterious key. You found another note written by Mr. K. Okay, so this is where I could have checked it, yeah. Instead of, like, wherever I was checking earlier on. Uh, but I have to put ten beats inside of uh, Mayor Lewis's fridge. Hopefully it's a, it's, a, it's a fall thing, and speaking of such, I guess we'll buy some fall seeds from uh, Pierre while he's still open. And uh, get those planted at least a day early, so we can actually... Because it's supposed to take, like, what, two weeks or something like that for corn to actually uh, start giving you stuff. So, you know, the, uh, getting a little bit of a head start definitely won't hurt, right? So, I guess we'll go down here and buy a little bit of corn seeds from him. And, maybe, I don't know, maybe sell a piece of bread or something. And then I guess we can make the mayonnaise machine, too. Because, hey, hopefully tomorrow our uh, chicken coop... Oh, what in the world? Hopefully our chicken coop is actually going to be done tomorrow, right? Golly. Anyways, what am I doing here? Pepper seeds. Yeah, I see radish. I don't, I don't think he has... I don't, I don't see any, uh... What is it called? Beets. I don't think he had beets. Unless he, oh, well, there's sunflowers there. Unless it's, like, down here and I just don't know it. Maybe I have to buy it from him. I don't know. Oh, and by the way, uh... I don't think I mentioned this this episode, did I? There's so many things in my notes that I should have mentioned at the beginning of the episode. But, uh, you guys remember last episode, I was like, Oh, man, I don't know, what do you guys think about me potentially buying a cherry sapling and an apricot... A apricot sapling? However you pronounce that. 
And, uh, you know, it, it's supposed to take a whole month to grow. It takes 28 days to produce a mature cherry tree. Same thing here. Uh, so, you know, it can grow all throughout fall, and then in the springtime, it's going to actually bear fruit. Well, people actually commented saying, hey, why, you, you don't want to do that yet. Some people actually said, yeah, you should do that. But another person said not to do it yet until you actually have a greenhouse, because then you can actually get fruit like any day of the year, which definitely makes sense. So, you know, for something this expensive, multiple thousands of dollars gold, I think I'm going to wait until we have a greenhouse. I don't know when that's going to be. I, I, I should probably have checked up on Robin just a minute ago just to see how long like it takes for you to actually like how expensive a greenhouse is and how 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 far into the future that's probably going to be for us but i don't know i, I guess we can go check on her here in just a bit uh because her shop is open till like what five or something like that right so either way uh what was i looking at corn where's that at here's right here corn seeds oh man 150 golly it's pretty expensive we already have a decent amount of corn at home as well let's get and i've got five thousand let's get ten Whew, that's 1,500 buckaroos we just spent right there, you guys. On top of the four or five corn we already have at home, which isn't too bad, isn't too good either, but... Mmm. Kind of want to have some money for, like, whatever the fall equivalent of blueberries is. I know someone comped it saying it was something. I forgot what it was. God, I want to buy my... I think, I think I'm good. I, I think 10, that's fine. I don't need to give them any more. I could sell them this bread for 60, sure. I don't know. Do you, do you, maybe I'll give it to someone as a gift. Or, I don't know. Who, who did I give that to last time? I feel like it was Pam. Who did I give that to? It might have been like Penny or something like that, or Robin, or... I know I gave a piece of trash bread to some... Wow, we gave Leah a lot of gifts. I don't know who it was. Gus? No? I don't know. It's not that big of a deal. We could always just eat the trash bread ourselves. We don't have to give it to someone, right? Uh, but definitely want to plant that... Uh, those, those seeds here in just a bit. I might actually go home and do that. I guess we already looked through that trash right there, so that's cool. Uh, but yeah, let's go home. It's 3 p.m. right now. 10 p.m. is when... Oh, and by the way, we, like, never talked to this old woman. Boom, sweet peas aren't in bloom right now. Really? Aren't so oh, yeah, sweet peas. I was thinking about uh, green peas for some reason. Uh, anyways, oh, yeah, we need to go to the community center. Golly, there's a lot of things going on. Hey, do you like bread? How nice. Thank Actually, how nice. Thank you, dear. There you go, Evelyn, that old woman voice. I guess she liked the stale trash bread, but uh, she doesn't know it's trash bread, so the less she knows, the better, I guess, huh? <laughs> Let's go to the community center real quick, though. There's Demetrius. We, we have a potato, but I think we already gave him uh, two two gifts this week. And he gave us a gift as well. That rainbow shell, which helped us out a ton. Now, anyways, what am I looking for? Solar essence. I think, we, yeah, we have like the adventurer's bundle or whatever done over here. I think it's the boiler room, isn't it? I think so. And then, uh, what was it? There was a second one. Oh, was there a second? I thought we had... I thought we had a second thing. I'm. Did I sell? I don't know what I did with it. But that's not, that's not it. Here it is, right here, okay. Solar Essence, boom, bundle complete. What are we going to get from this? Hopefully something good. Reward, small magnet, what? I have this already, what a waste. Actually, I think I have a regular magnet ring. Hold on, what do I have? What do I have? Yeah, I've got a regular one. Slightly increases your radius, and this one's straight up increase. This is worse than what I have, this is terrible. <laughs> Uh, maybe I can sell this or something. I'm gonna block this guy's path so he can't move. There you go. How do you like that little, little, little Junimo or whatever you're called? <laughs> Man, I was hoping we were gonna get something good out of that, but I guess not. Ah, uh, it sucks. I don't know if we need these, uh, yeah, we don't need the Earth Crystal for anything. Except for the mayonnaise machine, I think, right? Which is kind of weird to think about, but, uh, whatever. Speaking of such, I guess we'll go home, make the mayonnaise machine by... Getting this two copper alongside the three or so copper ore that we have at home. Get a copper ingot out of it. Make the mayonnaise machine. I don't know. Maybe Robin's done with the heckin' chicken coop now. Maybe if I go there now, the chicken coop's going to be done. I don't know. We'll see. It's almost 5 p.m. though, so I can't go to Robin and go see how much it costs for a, uh, what do you call it? So, kind of sucks in that regard. Time is flying by. But we also want to wait until, uh, 10 p.m. Because that's when the jelly dance is supposed to happen, right? So, don't want to, and yeah, she, honestly, it's not done up there. Ah. <sighs> I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> she's taking forever. <laughs> Anyways, let's go up here. Uh, what, what was I doing? I need to get... Yeah, so there's that. And then one piece of coal. And then we're good to go, I think, right? And then what else are we missing? Because we have the uh, earth crystal already. What do we need? Yeah, earth crystal. 15 stone and then 15 wood. Okay, so 15 stone. Let's get that. Then 15 wood. I think we have plenty of each. Yeah, 15. Yeah, we have tons. Boom. 
yeah, just holding that button down right there. Not spam clicking it, by the way, if you guys are wondering. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, so let's get the smelting and it's smelted. And then there we go. And I guess, I don't know if we could actually like uproot all these things, just kind of get rid of them because they're going to, like, there's no reason to water them today anyways, right? So, like, what happens if I do this? Nope. Oh, nothing. Actually, hold on. What if I do this? Nothing. Okay. I guess I do have to wait until tomorrow. If I have a sprinkler here, that means I could have a corn here. Boom. Okay, that's done. I can have a corn here. I can have corn there as well. Uh, then we have this sprinkler right here. Uh, and I guess we could do the same thing here, maybe. So maybe I could put a corn here. Then a corn here. Like, I'm trying to think about, like, where we could have that sprinkler. Like, like, that advanced or, like, upgraded sprinkler or whatever here in the future. If I'm actually able to make it. I don't know when we'll actually be able to make it, but... You know, maybe I'll put a sprinkler there. That'll be a good spot. And then, yeah, right here, perfect, perfect spots. Right here next to the sprinkler. Awesome. No rhyme or reason as to where I'm putting these, which kind of sucks, but what do you gotta do, right? Uh, let's do this. There we go. There we go. Just kind of get an extra day. Do I, I don't have the watering can right now. Whoops. Just kind of get a day ahead of... I don't know, maybe I should have waited till tomorrow. That way they're not kind of haphazardly placed. <laughs> Man! Uh, I definitely want to water these, so... All the seeds need to be watered. Okay, well, it's good that they're kind of white whenever they're dry and they turn, like, brown whenever they're wet, so... Uh, it kind of shows which ones have not been watered yet, like these. So that's good. There we go. And I guess I could do the same thing here. So I guess right here we could have another sprinkler, huh? Which means this... Oh, I don't have any more seeds. What in the world? I thought I had more of them. I guess I used them all right there. Okay. Well, either way, mayonnaise machine. Where is that at? There it is. Mayonnaise machine turns eggs into mayonnaise. Interesting. Hey, look at that. I got a new achievement. DIY. What's that for? New achievement DIY. Where is that? That's not here, is it? I don't know. It's not. It's actually not here. Oh wait, craft fifteen different items. I don't. It, I have it, but it's not showing up there. Okay, that's kind of weird. But uh, we got the mayonnaise machine. I don't know what to do with it yet. Yeah, maybe I'll just put it right there at least for right now. So there you go. Put eggs inside there. If I actually have eggs, but I don't have any eggs right now, unfortunately. So that sucks. Uh, it's, it's almost eight p.m. So probably want to leave here pretty soon. So we actually. Uh, it's 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 actually. What do you call it? Uh, ten p.m. By the time we get to the beach. Is there anything else here that needs to be watered before I forget? These are already watered uh, in the morning. These are watered. Okay. We have the sprinkler there. And we have a lot of fertilized stuff over here, which, like, I wish we had a little bit better, like, play, and I can't sell the heckin' ring out to do with it. I guess we'll put that up inside. Like, what else am I going to do with it, right? Or maybe here. I don't know. My Zongus is blocking the door. I guess I'll put the ring over here. Like, where else am I going to put it, right? So there you go. 810. I guess we'll go. And uh, maybe, maybe any worms we might find on the way over there. Then I, I guess we could use those, or, uh... And by the way, we do need to go to the museum. And there's no worms there. Uh, because there's a book over there. But we're going to have to do that next episode, because I'm like, this episode's already over 50 minute long. What in the world? How did that happen? Which, like, for, like, three or four episodes, we had, like, 40 minute episodes. Now we're having 50 hour long minute episodes again. Like, when did this happen? Ugh. <sighs> And I know you guys aren't complaining about it because you guys love the long episodes and whatnot, but I don't want to. I don't want to have like so many hour-long episodes and stuff with like that. Golly, let's go down here, anyways. Uh, soggy newspaper. I guess we're a little bit early right now because uh, it's still 9 p.m. So I guess we'll look for a little bit of worms over here if we could find any, and that'll be good. But uh, and then yeah, this is closed, so I can't go in there and read that book that we found a minute ago. The worms that whenever you hit it with a hoe turns into a heckin' book. I don't know. If someone explain that. I don't know. It makes no sense to me. This is a video game after all, right? <laughs> Probably shouldn't take it too seriously, but yeah, I'm not seeing any other worms here, unfortunately, so that sucks. Uh, no trash can for these guys for me to rummage through, I guess. 940, okay, so it should be 10 by the time we actually get down there, right? I think it's 10, unless it ends at 10. I don't think it does. Let me go, let me go, let me go, line 50. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh wait, no, it was, t okay, so there we go. Damn, wow, that's like right on time. The Dance of the Moonlight Jellies has something, something begun or something, I don't know. Any uh, actual, I don't know if we can actually have worms here, but, uh, oh wow, look at this, we got a lot of candles over here, and we got Pierre, of course, selling stuff, cloud decal, we could have two different designs for clouds, starport decal, what? Oh, it looks like, I guess you put that on the wall, it looks like stars, or something like that, you can buy a bunch of those, and I guess you can have your whole house look like you're in space, definitely want to do that, but this is going to be expensive as a heck, what is that modern rug, I can't manage, 4,000, seafoam pudding? 175 energy plus four fishing, five thousand dollars. Wow, this briny pudding will really, uh, will really get you in the maritime mindset. 
and a Moonlight Jellies banner. I'm like, all this stuff is heckin' expensive, but you gotta support the local businesses, right? Uh, I guess I'll talk to everyone. So, uh, what was your name again? I forgot. <laughs> Caroline. <laughs> These candles are romantic, aren't they? Yeah, they are romantic. Can I talk to, uh... Yes, okay. Psst. Make sure to swing by the shop tomorrow to get your fall seeds. Yeah, I will be doing that. I meant to come by today to get a bunch of, uh, last-minute corn seeds, but... It kind of seems like a bad idea now I think about it. Probably should have waited. I don't know. Don't tell Gus, but I'm a little disappointed that there's no buffet tonight. <laughs> no alcohol either, huh? Hey, Gus, do you know Pam is kind of disappointed by no buffet here? <laughs> Moonlight jellies. I wonder how they taste. I would never try it, of course. <laughs> Can I talk to these guys? Oh, I guess I can't talk to them multiple times. Okay. Wait, what in the world? Oh, he's walking around, Vincent. I want to see the rare green jelly. Ooh. Guess we'll have to keep our eyes peeled for any rare green jellies. Can I actually see anything right now? I guess not. Oh, there's a little boat right there with a little candle or a lantern or something like that. I probably shouldn't be walking around because I might be missing out on certain people. Penny, what do you have to say about this? Life is actually, let's give her the penny voice we gave her earlier. Life is so easy for a jellyfish. Just letting the waves carry you onward forever. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to continue doing that voice. I should have brought my camera. I always forget, says Haley. <laughs> That's gonna be her voice, right? I can't believe summer's over. I, it feels it felt like it just started. I guess that could be his like surfer voice or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to give everyone a voice. I mean, that's probably a bad idea now. I think about it. I, I probably can't keep up with everyone's voice here. That's a heavy load of people for it. Hey, this is the same voice as Penny. I don't know what that. She could have the. She could just have my normal voice. Golly, I can't keep up with this. <laughs> that's a heavy load of people for it. <laughs> I shouldn't. <laughs> Let's not give her that voice. <laughs> That's a heavy load of people. <laughs> For an ancient wooden dock. <laughs> I'll stay over here near the beach. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Even that voice wasn't matching it. <laughs> Shane was- Oh, Jazz. Uh, I hope there are babies this year. <laughs> okay, that could kind of fit her. <laughs> the jellies were here a year ago, and they'll be back again a year from now. Nature is amazing, says Sh I That's kind of the same voice we gave Alex up there. I'm already repeating voices. And Mayor Lewis, what do you have to say about this? Good evening, Waffle. The moonlight jellies are close. I already saw one glowing in the distance. Once we launch the candle boat, they'll come up to the docks and say hello. All right. I don't know if I'll, I'll keep doing that voice for him. I'll probably forget it next episode. Willie, what do you have to say about this? I, I think we gave him a voice last time, like the first time we actually met him. Most night fish would be scared of the light. These are strange ones. Yep. I agree there, Willie. Yep. Jody. There, I just saw one glowing. Or I just saw something glowing. I don't know. Why does she have the surfer voice? Oh, it's gone. I, 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 need, I need to, like, write down people's voices. I only have, like, three voices, by the way. I just figured that out. <laughs> Emily. Look out there. At the endless sea. Deep underwater. All kinds of life forms are moving around in the dark. Says Emily. Eerie, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You don't know what's out there. We've explored space more than we've explored our oceans. Clint, what do you have to say about this? I wore my special shoes tonight, and no one noticed. Uh, okay. Nice shoes, Clint. There you go. I noticed. I pay attention to you, Clint. <laughs> Elliot, what do you have to say? If we keep polluting the oceans, the jellies will surely go extinct. It's already in the process of happening. I, kind of, I feel like that voice can kind of fit him. He, he has, like, those flowing locks. He's, he, he, he kind of looks like a superhero, kind of, so... I feel like that, that voice kind of fits him. I, I'm probably going to forget to use it next time I actually talk to him, though, and then I always talk to him and then Sebastian over here. I thought I saw something moving in there. Something big. Something dark. What, a big jellyfish? Just, oh, whoops. Just trying to scare you. I think that, I think, I think that's what he said. Sam. I wonder if they're poisonous. Why do I sound just like Sebastian and Alex and Shane? <laughs> and then Abigail. Such a rare and exciting thing. And why do I sound like every other girl around here? <laughs> I think I think we've talked to everyone there. I don't know if we have or not. I feel like uh, if we go over, is there? Or did they block? Oh wait, yeah. See, here's Evelyn and George. I guess we haven't. And then yeah, there's Harvey over there. Yeah, so they're they're scattered all over the place. I'm glad I came over here and noticed this. I remember seeing the jellies once as a little girl. Oh, how I jumped with joy when they arrived. But now when I jump, I'll break my hip all over again. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be joking about that. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm too old to enjoy something like this? Ah, get off my lawn. 
Uh, but that was so long ago. I'm a lot less energetic now, and I don't want to break my hip again. Just ask Harvey. He just fixed it yesterday. Hey, Harvey, how you doing? Well, summer's over. To be honest, I'll be- <laughs> Why does everyone have this voice? <laughs> to be honest- <laughs> to be honest, I'll be happy to say goodbye to these blasted mosquitoes. I know, right? Like, the same thing's happening right now in real life. Like, it's summertime turning to fall time here in the northern hemisphere. Heckin' mosquitoes can go to heck. Excuse my harsh language there. I'm sorry. I just got a little emotional when I said that. Anyways, uh, is that it? Okay, that's it. Is there anyone else over here, though? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, Linus. I didn't even see him there for a second. He blended in. Oh, just sneak up when the jellies arrive. I don't want to bother anyone. I don't know why he has that voice. I really do need to, like, write this down so I don't forget. But, like, this is, like, episode 20-something, so, like, I should have... Oh, what in the world? There's a wizard right there. Like, hiding. How did you find... Wait, why does he have that voice? What, what, what kind of voice should a wizard have? Like, a mysterious, interesting voice. I don't know. How did you find me back here? <laughs> I don't know. Actually, uh, maybe I could do some like weird effects or something with like that to make them sound super cool. How did you find me back here? I thought I was well hidden, and I am a wizard. Perhaps you are blessed with the gift of clairvoyance. Or maybe I'm just blessed with the gift of trying to talk to literally everyone before I'm naughty, but talk to literally everyone, right? Oh, wow, there's even more people. Golly, Demetrius, Robin, Mario, and another, and Leah here. Hey, I got it right that time. There's like three, like I said last episode, I'm always getting these redheads mixed up. Hey, I'm paying my respects to another bygone summer. Okay. Uh, then we have Mario and Robin and Demetrius over here. Let's see what they have to say. Hey, best friend, how you doing? The moonlight <laughs> <laughs> so many people have that voice. The Moonlight Jelly. What a remarkable species. We're very... <laughs> We're very lucky that they have to stop here on their long journey south. I don't even know if I read that correctly. Oh, he has to say something again. It's unknown why they are attracted to light. Very curious. Maybe they're attracted to light the same way uh, mosquitoes and, like, moths are. I don't know. <sighs> it's past... Oh, no, hold on. <sighs> It's past my bedtime. What time is it right now? Like 10 something. Hey, did you see that candle boat? I crafted it by myself. Uh, I think I saw it. Like there's only one out there, right? And then Maru. It's kind of cold, actually. I guess fall is right around the corner. You're right. And you know you sound just like uh, Robin and also Leah and, and Penny and like literally every female. Like golly. Like I, I actually have like one female voice. If you even want to call it that. Except for like Evelyn. She has like an old female voice. If you even want to call that an old thing, I don't even know if that, I don't even know how it sounded. I need to go back and listen to it again. But there's the boat. What do I need to do? I think I need to talk to Mayor Lewis. But did I talk to everyone? I feel like I did. Let's do this. What do you think? Should I, I don't even know if this is the voice I gave him earlier on. What do you think? Should I launch the boat now? Yeah, let's go. Come on, Vominos. Everybody, let's go. Come on, let's get to it. I know that we can do it. Push it out there. Was Jazz going to do it? Oh, no. Oh, there you go. And was it supposed to, like, lure the jellies to the docks or something like they said earlier? I think so. And then we could have a better look at them or something like that. Oh, oh, there they are. Look at that. So is this the dance? Seeing them dance. I thought we were dancing. But I guess. Oh, oh there's interesting music playing, too. Very interesting, calming music. To welcome in the new season. And we need to look out for a, uh, was it a green one that Vincent or Jazz someone told us about? Apparently a green one's supposed to be a rare one. Can I walk around right now? No, I can't. I'm stuck in place. Oh, there's a ba there's two babies. There are three. Look at all the babies. There are a ton of little babies down there. Look at all the little baby moonlight gel. Oh, there it is. Right there. There's the green one. There's a rare one right there. Where, who was looking for the green one? There it is right there. There's even more over here. There's babies there. I don't know if there could be a baby green one, though. That'd be kind of cool. Man, I am like... I, and why does he, like, physically look different, though? I thought his color would just be different, but no. Like, he looks like a flower or something. It's kind of crazy. And there's more up there, too. But honestly, this, this is a cool little moment here. Saying goodbye to summer and hello to fall. And we'll get to experience this again next year, too. 
The glow of summer has faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry on toward the great unknown. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty cool. And that's it. It is midnight right now, man! Nah, man. Nah, I guess we can go to bed right now so we won't get a penalty, right? Uh, I think you only get an energy. I think someone said you only get an energy penalty if you go to sleep like at past one or something like that. So I think right now we're still fine. Or was it 12? It's past 12 right now, so we're definitely getting an energy penalty, right? Golly. <laughs> Anyways, I guess we'll go to sleep. I don't know if there's anything I missed out on there, but uh, yeah, we sold a random coral there for 80, and that was it. Okay. And did we get anything else like farming or anything? Level oh, hey, look at that progress save the first day of fall of the first year. <laughs> And the chickens, not my chickens, unfortunately, because Robin never heckin' finished the coop. <laughs> but someone's ch- oh, Whoa! Holy, this looks crazy. Look at all the dead crops we have over here. Man! Everything is, like, orange. Like, of course, I'm like, oh, and look at this little flower thing right here changed to whatever that is. Interesting. Of course, all these heckin' crops are dead. Except for the corn that's still alive. I'm like, I purposely... Like, like, like planted the corn around the existing sprinklers and whatnot. I'm like, we still don't have any form or function to anything right there, but I'm like, maybe maybe next year we'll actually have a little bit better, uh, like, setup, I guess you could describe it as. Golly. Hey, kid, here's the recipe for a little treat my pappy used to make. Cook it slow. Pam. New cooking recipe for cheese... Cheese... Collie? Was this cheese cauliflowers or something like that? I don't know. You don't have any more mail. Okay, and I have a random uh, wood right there, and then, yeah, all these have basically uh, gone back to normal, and uh, I, I think those have started to grow because we cut down trees and whatnot over here pretty recently, but I guess it got infected. I don't know if that's even the right word. Infected? <laughs> but a bunch of uh, tall grass, weeds, whatever you want to describe it as. Sorry, growing over there once again, so we got to cut those down. But the silo is basically full, right? So, yeah, 250 now is 240, so like any extra we get on that, apparently we won't get any benefit from that, so that kind of sucks. But the game did save whenever I went to sleep, so anything I do right now doesn't really matter. We'll worry about it next episode. But for curiosity's sake, I guess we'll just take a sneak peek around here and see what mushrooms- Okay, same mushrooms, nothing new there. And I guess, yeah, the mushrooms will happen, like, year-round, because it's inside there. Interesting stuff. Robin's still working on this. How long does it take? Under construction. Did I talk to her now? Uh, no. It just says under- Okay. Uh, I, I kind of want to go look at the town real quick before you end up. I'm like, this episode's well over an hour long anyway, so it's not like- <laughs> Not like it matters if I'm taking another extra- Oh, wow, look at this. Doesn't matter if we take an extra like two or three minutes to look around at the town and see how see how much it transformed. Because I know when it, it went from spring to summer, it got like really vibrant. And look at these these birds up there. But like summer to fall, wow! Like the whole color palette just went straight from green to orange, which makes sense. It's definitely getting me in the mood. Wow! Look at that. We got pumpkin patch over here with some hay. And there's Penny right there. Hey, your birthday's tomorrow, isn't it? And uh, I don't know. if... Oh, I wonder if I could steal any, like, mushroom right there from... Nah, I guess not. <laughs> but I was about to say, I wonder if uh, people's houses start getting decorated with, like, pumpkins, jack-o'-lanterns, Halloween decorations. Oh, yeah, look at this. This right here. There's a jack-o'-lantern. There's a sunflower right there. It looks kind of half dead, though, unfortunately. I don't know what that is. Is that a scary decoration? I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll look a little bit more in-depth next episode, but I guess for this episode, we'll get a, just get a little bit of a sneak peek and see what fall is all about. And I'm very excited because... As you guys already know, in real life, as I'm uploading this, it's currently uh, October something. So pretty much like like bang on with what it is in the game. I assume October, this is supposed to represent like October time, right? Right when fall starts. So this is this lines up pretty well. And uh, I, I'm very excited to see like how the game changes for the new season here. And man, it seems like time, time feels like it's like passing by super duper fast, but at the same time, super duper slow in this game, which is kind of interesting because I'm like, at the same time, like, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of things that we want to, like, wait until next season to try out because we didn't do it correctly the first time around, you know, like, plant all the stuff for spring, we did that haphazardly, same thing for summer, and even fall, <laughs> seems like right there, right, but, you know, we're slowly getting experience, starting to learn things, and, you know, the second season around, second spring, second summer, second fall, it's going to be a, a really cool looking back and seeing how much we've improved from the first season of uh, spring and summer and fall to uh, the second next year, like 50 episodes from now or whenever that's going to be. But until then, I guess I'll end off this episode right here. And as you can see, the corn still survives. So that's pretty cool. 
Uh, oh yeah, and then I guess, yeah, Pierre's probably gonna have some sort of siege. We'll worry about that next episode. But until then, <laughs> thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as a new episode of Stardew Valley comes out so you never miss an episode. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley in fall time. Oh, bye there. Oh.